morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulites. This is Angela with another edition of Notes on the News, um, where I read to you headlines from my newsfeed and share with you my thoughts about those headlines, about the subject matter in general, about the article, about the paragraph that follows the headlines, or just whatever, if I feel like sharing anything about it, if I have anything to share. But it's not news, it's just my notes on the news. Let us proceed. I'm Angela. The channel is Be Fabulous You. Did I say that? <laughs> NBC's um, Female Forward Directors Initiative officially launches with call for submissions. U.S. Havana Embassy, new inquiry into Cuba staff sickness. What in the world is going on? Remember this whole sonic attack that supposedly people, American um, people had in Cuba the American like diplomats had some kind of sonic attack and it was kind of like a mysterious thing like what weapon is being used what are the Cubans doing are they doing something I thought someone else was doing something and then also later on I heard that um, Canadians were having the same symptoms their diplomats and then we withdrew the country this country withdrew American diplomats from Cuba but anyway I just so Cuba was cooperating in the investigation and we just no no clarity about what what a guan. Angela Rye calls out um, Adidas for depiction of black soccer player she sees as racist. Where is the shoe? We talked about this on the last edition where she said it's the it just says predator, no shoe, just the black athlete and predator. Mm hmm. Australian animals suffer through extreme heat. Ah, 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 har, data leak. Edward Snowden backs India reporter over expose. India's jet airways fires pilots for cockpit, cockpit fight. They was, they was argue, they, were they fighting? Were they arguing? It's been a couple days since I, I can't remember. I think they were fighting in the cockpit. It just seems so, so unpilot like. Okinawa tension, U.S. apologizes to Japan over repeat incidents. Like they, the, 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 the helicopter done fell down or something, and then they're using a bigger helicopter to lift this helicopter. It's like all of these U.S. military people are creating some just mess and chaos in Japan, and the Japanese people are like, y'all are getting on our nerves now. And I don't understand why the United States government military is all over the world anyway. That's imperialism, right? That's colonialism, neo-colonialism, old old colonialism, imperialism. BAFTA looks to stamp out pernicious working practices ahead of 2018 event. I can't remember what BAFTA was now. It's been so long. Same-sex marriage is now legal in Australia. Here are the gorgeous photos from the first ceremonies. Whirlpool and Yumley will stop you from wasting food. Thai Prime Minister uses cardboard cutout to avoid questions. Now I had seen the headline, but when I actually I saw the, the story on the news today or whatever, he like walked that cardboard out there, sat stood it up. He like if you had any questions, ask the cardboard and carried his behind back inside. <laughs> So that's terrible. That is really, that's terrible. That's not really funny. That's like terrible. Um, South Africa train crash, <clears throat> 200 injured near Johannesburg. Sorry, sorry to hear that. And peace and healing and health to everyone. Here are the U.S. states where more people are dying than being born. <coughs> Israeli Prime Minister's son, sorry over secret tape. I can't remember what that was about either. Philippines to project prote protest Beijing's apparent air base on man-made island in the South China, China Sea. <coughs> China making moves. There's like an area in the ocean that's disputed. Different countries are like, this is our area. This is our area. This is our area. China has been building islands in this area and now they have um an air base on one of these man-made islands china about to be like we, we this is ours because we said it's ours and we got the guns and we gonna shoot you and what you gonna do 
The social video report content distribution and monetization across Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram. Brent crude oil tops sixty-eight dollars a barrel, its highest since twenty fifteen. I don't even know what Brent is. What does that mean? Taking a lot of ibuprofen could be putting men's fertility at risk, according to new study. Ibuprofen is supposed to mess with your liver, isn't it? Or is that the other drug? All these over-the-counter things that we just take and take and take, and we think they're okay because they're over-the-counter, and they say you can take them, and then they be jacking you up, like your fertility, your liver, your kidneys, or whatever. ISS, Japanese astronaut Nurishigi, Kanasi worried about growth spurt. He said it was whatever, but apparently it's been when he when the story when I saw when I first saw the story it was like his growth spurt was outside of the realm. Like they're like usually people grow, you know, two three inches, and he's like I've grown five inches. But I've heard that maybe he was just being silly or exaggerated. But he apologized for the fake news story. So. Paraguay Lagoon sees giant lily pads return. A company of her own, Pearl Primus, introduced African dance to audiences outside African culture. Pearl Primus, I never even heard of her, just Catherine Dunham, but she did ballet mixed with Caribbean dance. I don't know who Pearl Primus is. The Avenue, a vibrant African-American community that had it all. The Polk Patch Settlement, predominantly African-American community in Ohio. I never heard of the Polk Patch Settlement. Zimbabwe anti-corruption body investigates Grace Mugabe's PhD. She got a PhD. I guess it wasn't an honorary PhD. But the people in the department are like, how she get the PhD in like six months, a year, however amount of time it took. How she get the PhD and we haven't, she ain't defend her dissertation in front of us. That's how it worked. What, what's going on? A new action-packed trailer for Black Panther shows off the movie's villains. The Blackberry Key One is getting a bronze makeover. Y'all, my Blackberry, my tablet done died, and I still got my Blackberry. And I got my tablet because I'm like, my Blackberry gonna die. I gotta be used to a whole nother operating system. Let me get this tablet. Now my tablet done died, and I still got the Blackberry. And then they out here making more Blackberries, so I might be able to actually get another Blackberry. Are you excited? <laughs> Blackberry Mobile commits to at least two new phones in 2018. They're not going to be sold in the United States. But I was doing a tour last year and somebody had a new Blackberry. I'm like, where you get that from? She's like, I'm Canadian. And I'm like, oh. And then you know what I realized? Canada is right across the border. I mean, I'd be a little nervous because I'm like, Rasulullah, are they going to like, hey, I go over and then they won't let me back. And then it's a big brouhaha. But shoot, I might go over to Canada and get me a Blackberry. Doctors have figured out how often you need to work out to offset the effects of sitting all day. Get up off your behind. U.S. Marines rescue their helicopter with a bigger one. I think this is over in Japan. The Jeffersonian apartment building finds new owners. That's here in Detroit. Rwanda ban on imported secondhand clothing. Who is ultimately being served? Oakland to offer legal weed business opportunities as reparations to convicted felons. Somaliland passes first law against rape. The reasons why we should tell friends what we make. Ghana bars recruits over stretch marks and bleached skin. They said that these things, um, the, first of all, I think they had 50 jobs, but they accepted 200, 2 million applications. And then you had to pay like five, ten dollars to apply for the job, but they only had a few, but they let everybody apply. And then now they're eliminating people on things that some people feel like I feel like they specifically targeting women to eliminate. Do men have stretch marks? I don't know. Not really. And then who gonna be more likely to be bleaching? Probably women, but they're saying it's too rigorous. And if you got stretch marks and bleaching, then your skin may you may not be able to hold up to the rigors of this job. So that's why they banning these recruits. 
H&M slammed as racist for ad featuring black boy in coolest monkey hoodie. Y'all done heard about that by now. Prisoner wakes up in a mortuary in Asturias, Spain. And then I saw on my news feed today, today where there's some situation, there's some condition where even though they say that three people examined this person and declared him dead, that he was not dead and he probably has this condition. That's why it was probably on my news feed today, he or she. NAACP wants fans at college title game to wave white towels. Bangladesh court upholds Myanmar Rohingya marriage man. Black hair wins big at Golden Globes. You can book incredibly cheap round trip flights from all over the U.S. to Beijing right now. Ooh, Beijing, let's go. We go to Beijing. We go into China. We go. You going? We go into China. China. You going, Bella? We go into China. The U.S. spent more money on weather disasters in 2017 than any other year on record. Here's the final total. The secret airline run by the U.S. government is hiring. And to get the job, you have to share your drinking habits, sexual behavior, and mental health. Ohio, Ohio officer who fatally shot 22-year-old black man believed he faced imminent threat. Wow, that's such a unique statement. Google sued over male discrimination. I think more specifically, rich white men with property and power. They Google said, you're discriminating against us and we're not going to take it. And so what? We wrote the statement saying how women ain't nothing or whatever. And you fired us. And so now we're suing you. So there. Tweeted and deleted. Someone thought Viola Davis was Alfred Woodard at the Golden Globes. And I think um, baby girl from Insecure, Issa Rae, I think she tweeted, somebody just said something about Viola Day, um, um, Alfred Woodard was looking good, and, and uh, what's, uh, 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 Insecure Issa Rae said, I don't know, I don't see Viola Davis, I don't see Alfred Woodard, but Viola Davis look good. But I get people confused all the time, even black people sometimes. So maybe they have what I had. That's why she probably deleted it, because she didn't want to, you know, North Korea officials will walk across the South Korea border for their first meeting in two years. That was a couple days ago. Mother of falling walking dead stuntman says Hollywood covers up safety problems like it does sexual abuse. North and South Korea began high level talks on Olympic Games. UN 64 migrants probably died in Mediterranean boat sinking. Rest in peace you your family your friends all of us not only did the catholic church condone slavery they participated in it jfk airport terminal evacuated after water main breaks and floods baggage claim the rock 16 year old daughter is the first ever golden globes ambassador here's what you need to know about this rising star 11 dead after gunfight erupts on the outskirts of Acapulco. Rest in peace for you, your family, and your community, and all of us in the world. Just peace, peace, peace. Trump reportedly starts his days later because he wants more executive time to watch TV and tweet. Dubai to build new record-breaking sky um, skyscraper. <laughs> Sydney was the hottest place on earth on Sunday. These three women were the only ones who didn't wear black at the Golden Globes, to the Golden Globes. BBC China editor leaves UK pubcaster in gender, pubcaster in gender payroll, like roll like a fight, you know, I think this is coming off of some British something. A worker at one of Chinese companies that builds iPhones killed himself jumping out of a window. A newborn baby was found dead and wrapped in a plastic bag on an e e et Eddy Hod flight to Indonesia. Poor baby, rest in peace. 
peace to the family and the community and the people who found the baby. Gaza co-joined twins survived separation surgery. A top BBC presenter quit her role and published a bombshell letter about the broadcaster's illegal pay culture. Man Mahatmir Muhammad, ex-Malaysia Prime Minister 92, to run for office. That would make him one of the oldest people to be running for office. The House of Parliament Network blocked 24,473 porn website access attempts in five months. That's about 4,000 a month, about 1,000 a week. People be trying to get at that porn, or maybe it's like accidental. You know how stuff will pop up? We don't have pop, up as, pop, pop ups as much as we used to. But you know, it's kind of like sometimes I'll look, I'll be watching a video, and it's like I guess my hand touched something and I liked it or I disliked it, but I didn't really like it or dislike it. My hand just touched something. So maybe they wasn't trying to get porn. Their hand just had accidentally, what had happened, touched something. You know? Chinese dating app closed after women revealed to be robots. Trump to open the floodgates on selling U.S. made weapons to previously restricted buyers. Sanchi, burning tanker off Chinese coast in danger of exploding. I heard it didn't explode. Firefighters tackle Trump Tower blaze in New York. That was a couple days ago. Also, I heard it was an electrical fire. The New York Daily News ran a cover two years ago that looks a lot like the New York Times latest ad campaign. I see it all over YouTube. It says, he said, she said, he said, she said, he said, she 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 said. She sells seashells by the seashore. It's kind of hard to say she said a lot of times. Try it. But anyway, the Daily News is saying you stealing. Money management needs more women. Iran bans English from being taught in primary schools. The chi, the chai, the shy executive producers Lena Waithe and Common talk keeping the series authentic to black life in Chicago. A well-known English city might become the world's first zero emission zone by 2035. Sydney swelters on hottest day since 1939 as mercury hits, I think it was like 117 degrees Fahrenheit. This is saying 47.3 degrees Celsius. Snowing or glowing? A Mexican artist is painting the world's longest mural on the U.S.-Mexico border wall. Take a look. San Francisco housing market is so dire that renters are paying $1,100 a month to live in converted living rooms. That's some bull. Rohingya insurgents say they have no option but to fight Myanmar's terrorism after wounding several soldiers in attack. Peru ex-leader Fujimori calls for unity after release. U.S. Senator says there is no evidence that U.S. diplomats suffered sonic attacks in Cuba. France was the first country to ban supermarkets from throwing away unused food, and the world is taking notice. Casa Monse, 13 dead in attack in restive Senegalese region. Rest in peace, peace to families and communities in the world. Why? Peace, peace, peace. Film Independent Spirit Awards nominees get $150,000 in cash grants at brunch. From no go to hot spot. Okay, so that's what I got. I'm Angela. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Notes on the News. Share, like, comment, subscribe. If you aren't already a subscriber or if you're new, welcome back. If you're if you've been here before, you might not be old, but welcome back. Or if you're new, welcome. You know what I'm trying to say? I'll, I'll just say what I want to say. The, the, the only thing I can't say is just you the number one stunner. So be you. Be fabulous and be fabulous you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.